First and foremost, brothers and sisters, as always, a oh, little, little stretch, <laughs> but as always, as we persevere, I want to give a shout out, major shout out, hat goes off to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he's the Lord of my life, shout out to YouTube for another opportunity to share, shout out to my man Antoine Daniels, watching his content earlier, on the main dollars worth of game, if you don't know about Antoine Daniels, click and subscribe to him. Good, good brother right there. He, he, he's definitely putting it on. You know, married man, family, good, good man. You know, great YouTuber, great content. Definitely click and subscribe to this channel. For those of you who take the time out to watch this channel, click and subscribe. Shout out to all my new subscribers, to each and every one of you. I want to talk to each and every one of you today briefly about conducting yourself in a work environment. We're dealing with co-workers, right? Remember, you're there to go and make money. You're not there to make friends, but we make friends. Some of us engage with the opposite sex, having relations, whatever, and everything. You want to be, let's, let's address that. You want to be careful with that one, one. Because I done seen too many people over the course of the years I've been working. Now, I'm 45, so I've probably been working for over 30 years. 30 years. Probably 30, 32, 33 years. I started some of you when I was, what, 13, 14 and everything. But I worked before that. You know, we used to, I used to, me and my, shout out to all my, my dudes I grew up with in Brooklyn, in Crown Heights, Nostra, St. Mark's, New York. Y'all know what it is. My building was 750. I don't know. Bernard in the building. Shout out to Bernard. It was 770. That was the building we couldn't go into. Crack era was heavy back then, back in that early 80s. You know, shout out to Al's building, the white building. That's the building we all hung out at. You know, my man Alan Jordan. Shout out to my man Buck. Rest in peace to him, George, and everything. But point I'm mentioning them. Um, you know, even as kids, we used to play basketball on the garbage cans. We couldn't go to the park, but we used to work. We used to go to Key Food, right there, right on the corner, uh, St. Mark's and Nostra, and we used to uh, pack people's bags. They used to pay me to not pack their bags. <laughs> Shout out to Phil and Eric. They used to make a lot of money. These guys, I mean, they, yo, sometimes guys to do five to ten hours a day. Ten hours a day. Just to make ten, twenty dollars. And we didn't get no salary. It depends on what the people wanted to pay you. And everything like that. Like I said, they used to pay me not to pack their bags. Phil was the illest with that. Phil and Eric. They used to come home with wads and, you know what I'm saying, quarters and everything. Play video games. Whatever they did. You know, we was getting it in back then as far as working. You know, shout out to Bernard's grandmother. Rest in peace. And everything like that. <clears throat> to her, she used to recycle those bottles. I recycle bottles now. You know, fast forward to the point I'm making. Acting, you know, dealing with co-workers of the opposite sex. You want to have sexual relations with them and everything. You want to be very careful because of that relationship in. Especially if you're a man dealing with the women, you know, you can get yourself burnt and lose your job. Nowadays, you know, you want to be very careful with your job. Very careful. One of the things that can cause you to lose your job, so you might not want to go there. You know, some of you think you ill. I don't seen it happen to the best. I don't seen guys who worked at companies for over 20 years, you know, thinking it can't happen to them. They get caught up with these sexual harassment allegations because the relationship with the female, and these were married guys and they dealing with their mistresses and whatever happened, they burnt them. 20 years down the drain, no pension, nothing. Done. So you probably want to be careful if you want to deal with your coworker on that level. Now, I used to do that when I used to work for FedEx. Shout out to them. Man, we used to take pride in, you know, having different routes and sm see who smashed how many girls on this route, that route. You know, this when I was younger, a little older now, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this when I was younger, a little bit older now. Even trying to smash the girls in, in the company. We used to try to do that. I never did that. I never, you know, had no intimate intimate relations with none of the girls I ever worked with at FedEx. As far as delivering to the customers, yeah. But I say that to say this, don't lose, it's not worth losing your job. If it's your bread and butter, don't lose your job. You get the money. You know, fellas, women are always, they all over the place, you know. 
is not a shortage of women going around. Just to let you know, they're all over the place and a lot of them are single, right? Ladies, it's not worth it neither. It's definitely not worth it. It's not worth it for you to get caught up with some man, you know, I don't see that happen too. The same man you helped get the job, now he's messing with your friend or your other coworker on the job and you helped get that man a job. I done seen it happen time and time and time again. Now it's problems in the job and both of y'all messing up your money when you're there. So you wanna be careful with that. Another dangerous thing, I did a video on gossip. Gossip causes people to lose their jobs all the time, especially when it comes down to uh, uh, supervisors. One of the things, you will get fired for insubordination. You know, you want to be careful who you relay certain messages to or you talking to because you never know. Just, just because he's your co-worker, he or she, and they may appear to be cool, they'll go back and tell your supervisor exactly what you did or said about, well, exactly what you said about them. Now you're in the office and now you're about to get fired. And you be like, yo, I thought that was my man. I thought that was my girl. It has happened. I remember one time I was working at Rockefeller, right? Shout out to Rockefeller, Charlie Hoover, and all of them. I remember one time... I took a, a picture, you know, joking. I took an Instagram picture of uh, Minister Quello. He was sleeping in the lobby and everything. Jokingly, I put it on social media. And one of my coworkers, right? Well, when I came into work, one of my coworkers, what he did, he told me, my man Ty. Ty was like, yo, yo, Rala, take that picture down, man. You know, because if somebody, and you never know who's watching from the, the company, you know what I'm saying? You can get fired like that. I took it down right away. But as he told me to take it down, I had another coworker. Snake co-worker, he's still there today. Shout out to James. You know, um, he saw the picture, right? He saw it and everything. And he heard Tyrone talking to me. You know what he did? He took a he took a picture or whatever, and he showed it to my boss. He showed it to Charlie Hoover and Charlie uh Sean O'Neill, which is Charlie's boss, got involved and this is at the time I'm fighting to get a job. I was there for two years and you know, um Still on probation, just to try to get a part-time position. Shout out to my man, Young Bro, who helped me get that job in the first place. You know, my little brother. Um, and what happened was, you know, Charlie screamed on me. He asked me about it. I said, I've been, took it down. I apologize. And I wasn't trying to get the minister in, in trouble. You know, in security, if you sleep, you can get fired, especially at a job, you know, building like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I shouldn't, it was my foolishness cost me my job and everything. In that regard, me have, you know, course joking, cost me my job, but my coworker, once again, because I wasn't careful, my one coworker warned me, other coworker, which was cool, which I thought was cool. What he did, he got me fired. Now, Charlie told me that, yo, you know what? Don't worry, you're gonna get your job back and everything like that, it's cool, I'm sorry, this, that, and the third. He told me he's called me back, he never called me back. And I don't even think it was Charlie's fault. Charlie's boss saw it, and Charlie's boss made the call. Yo, don't take this guy back. Now, mind you, you know, I, I never really was late. It used to be me and my man Bob. We never, I mean, we had to have, per we was competing for a job. Never really was late, couldn't call out, none of that stuff. But the same, and I used to kick it with this brother every day. I used to kick it with James and all that. But James wound up getting me fired. You know what I'm saying? Not to say this, not to gossip about him and everything. I'm just telling y'all my story, what happened, you know, as far as doing certain things at the job that can cause you to lose your job. And because of that, I lost my job. You know, shout out to James, Tyrone, all of them, they still there and everything. Um, and I and that, and once that happened to me, I warned other coworkers, stop posting stuff on the job, you know, and which we're not supposed to do anyway on social media. And it happened, you know. Um, that was their policy, every job had different policies of course so when you're interacting with your co-workers keep it professional man keep it professional don't get into you know you know uh certain things because that co-worker could get you in trouble or you both you guys both get yourselves in trouble you know what i'm saying keep it as it is work is work i'm not saying you don't build relationships we build relationships with people co-workers and that stuff is fine i have i built friendships from co-workers the same way you build friendships when you go to school you know, but as you get older, everybody's not meant to be your friend. Everybody's meant to be in your life. Certain people are just meant to be co-workers. That's it. Get your money. Go home. So I want to encourage all my brothers and sisters out there that's working, that you have a 9 to 5, 11 to 7, all that. Be careful with your job. Be careful with your co-workers, whether engaging with them sexually, engaging in conversation. Be very careful. Don't lose your job 
because you know stupidity. Don't lose your job because of because of your lust. Don't lose your job because you can't control your mouth. You better learn how to control your mouth. And don't lose your job because of social media. Posting certain things about your job, certain people about your job. You will get fired for that too. And don't talk about your supervisors and your bosses to your coworkers too. That's called insubordination. That's usually an automatic grounds of termination depending on who you work for. You know, my, do your best. I had to learn this the hard way. Do your best to mind your business. Do your five hours, six hours, eight hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, whatever amount of hours you got to do, do your hours and go home. Remember, nobody's going to take care of you better than you. So with that being said, brothers and sisters, more content coming soon. Don't lose your jobs. And if you have lost your job because of it, you know what I'm saying? Um, now you know what to do moving forward. Setbacks is always set up to come back, baby. Be encouraged. Peace and blessings, y'all.